the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. I knew. Honestly, Henry, it sounded like like something out of the past. Hey, cut it out. You're getting me scared. <gasps> Henry, there it is again. Yeah. See if Bill's sleeping. Oh, I can guarantee one thing, Mary Lou. If he is sleeping, he won't be for long, because I'm going to wake him up right now. Hey, Bill. Bill, wake up. Huh? Wake up. Uh, uh, what do you want, Henry? Uh, something wrong? <laughs> something wrong? If you heard the weird noise that Mary Lou and I just heard, you'd know that something was wrong. Mm. How about it, Mary Lou? Yes, Bill. I'm ready to go home. And it's only the very first day of our vacation. Hello, boys and girls. This is Ranger Bill again. Vacations are supposed to be fun. Many people travel to faraway places where they have never been before. Some visit relatives, while others go to the nearest lake, pitch a tent, and enjoy the beauty of nature. <laughs> this is exactly what Stumpy, Mary Lou, Henry, and I did. We went to a place near Knotty Pine called Lake Arthur. It's a very large lake with an island smack in the middle of it. Every year, people camp on this island, and that's what we did. Of course, we didn't expect things, the mysterious things, to happen to us as they did. <laughs> well, of course, you wouldn't know at this point what I'm referring to. So let me just tell you the story that I've named Mystery Island. Mary Lou, Henry, up and shine. You're missing the best part of the morning. Yes, sorry. The two of you better crawl out of your sleeping bag before the other campers around here eat the breakfast I've cooked for you. <laughs> oh, hey, what time is it anyway? 8.30. Time all good campers were up and about. After last night, I'm not too sure I want to be a good camper. Think I'd just as soon be back safe and sound at Naughty Pine. <laughs> hey, never you mind, young lady. After an early morning swim in the lake, you'll be as lively as I am. <laughs> oh, boy, I sure hope you're right, Stumpy. Oh, way I feel, I need something to keep my eyelids open. I just couldn't fall asleep after hearing those weird noises last night. I wonder what they were, Bill. Do you have any ideas? No, actually, I don't. More than likely, they were from some local mountain animal. <laughs> well, let's forget about last night. We have one full week ahead of us with nothing to do but relax. Did I hear someone say relax? And that comes after the morning meal is finished and the pots and pans are stashed away. <laughs> and now, just like in the days of the Wild West... Come and get it! Come and get it! How about that, young feller? <laughs> Old timer, I guess you're just too good for Mary Lou and me. That makes it 21 to 19. But it was quite a game, and it wasn't over until you and Henry displayed your horseshoe pitching skill. Do I get some of the credit, Stumpy? Well, uh, it's 
suppose you've got to, but very little, mind you. <laughs> Boy, you're wonderful, Stumpy. We know you don't really mean it. Uh, what do you mean? I really didn't mean it. Sure, I owe Henry some credit. But I'm still the best horseshoe pitcher in this county. <laughs> Stumpy. <laughs> oh, I see our next-door neighbor is coming out of his tent. Yeah, he's heading this way, too. wonder what he wants. He yeah, probably wants to challenge me to a game horseshoes. No, I hardly think so. Uh, morning. Uh, care to join us in the game of horseshoes? No, I would not. Thanks. I would appreciate it if you try to keep the tone of your voices down, as well as the ring of these confounded metal horseshoes. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Meany is the name. Well, like I was saying, Mr. Meany, we're terribly sorry if we've caused you any inconvenience. You have. I deliberately came to this spot thinking I'd find peace and quiet. Now, I'm afraid I've made a wrong decision. Mr. Meany, we'll certainly do everything within our power to help make your stay on this island a pleasant one. Thank you. I certainly hope you mean what you say. Strange things could happen if it were proven otherwise. Good day. Well, there goes my chance to build up a reputation as a horseshoe player. I wonder what he meant by strange things happening to us, Bill. That's what I was wondering, too. I don't know. But I have a strange idea we'll find out. Good morning, Mary Lou. Hi, Henry. How'd you sleep last night? Any better than the last two? Oh, no. No, I didn't. How about you? Me neither. Those spooky sounds are driving me nuts. I can't stand it. I can't either. In fact, I'm going to ask Bill about going back to Naughty Pine today. Well, I'm all for it myself. The only thing is, I know Bill and Stumpy were counting on spending their vacation here at Lake Arthur. I kind of hate dragging them away from here. Well, I suppose you're right, Henry. Oh, I'll try to put up with it all for the rest of the week, but, boy, it's against my better judgment. Say, by the way, where are Bill and Stumpy? They went over to talk to Mr. Overby. Oh, what about? Well, it seems Mr. Meany's complained about everyone here on the island, including poor old Mr. Overby. Since Bill's a ranger, Mr. Meany thought it best if he spoke directly to Mr. Overby. <laughs> Oh, what could a harmless 70-year-old man do to bother Mr. Meany? <laughs> Seems Mr. Meany's been complaining about the people using the pathway beside his tent. And being the camp's number one crab, he's thrown out some very strong threats to Mr. Overby. It seems to me that Mr. Meany is threatening just about everyone. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me too much if he followed through with one or two of them. Henry, you won't think I'm silly if, if I tell you something, will you? Oh, Mary Lou, we've been friends far too long for me to think a thing like that. What's on your mind? Well, I've got a very strange feeling, a, a woman's feeling, that there's a human being behind those mysterious noises we've been hearing every night. You mean a prowler? Well, not exactly. It could be someone who doesn't like other people. I think I'm beginning to see the light, Mary Lou. You mean someone who'd want people to become so frightened... That they leave Lake Arthur. Yes, and then that someone would have peace and quiet. Or at least that's what someone thinks. You mean Mr. Meany? <laughs> As if I didn't already yeah, know. who else? Of course, we, we could never accuse him. Yeah, we could never accuse him unless... Unless he was trailed and caught. I think we should tell Bill about our suspicions, yeah. Henry. So do I. I'm going over to Mr. Overby's tent right now and get him. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Mr. Overby. It's none of my own doing, but uh, Mr. Meany's desire that I see you about using the path in front of his tent. Yeah, I understand, Mr. Jefferson. I understand. Man doesn't live to be as old as I am without learning of other people's characters, whether they be good or bad. Please don't ignore Mr. Meany because of his ideas. Even though they are somewhat out of line, he probably could use some friends. Yeah, I won't. I won't. As a matter of fact, I'll go out of my way not to use his path. And I'll be very pleasant to him. Eastwise, as pleasant as know-how. 
Thanks, Mr. Overby. A gentleman as kind and as thoughtful as you couldn't possibly be any other way. <laughs> well, I, I hope not. I, I certainly hope Bill, not. Bill! Oh, Bill! Can I talk to you a moment? Oh, yes, Henry. Uh, what is it? Something wrong? Well, no. Not exactly. Excuse me, Mr. Overby. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you two, but... So, Bill, Mary Lou has come up with a good solution as to what's been making those mysterious noises for the past three nights. Oh, she has, has she? Yes. Uh, you'll have to excuse Henry, Mr. Overby, but he and Mary Lou have been quite upset over some weird sounds near our campsite every night. And I guess I must truthfully confess that I've been hearing them, too. Well, you see, Mr. Jefferson, it seems to be uh, something to be concerned about, isn't it? Henry, you say Mary Lou has an idea as to what might be causing those, uh, those mysterious sounds? Yes, yes she has, Mr. Overby. And I think she has the right answer. Is that so? That's so. Uh, what is Mary Lou's idea, Henry? Well, uh, Mr. Overby, uh, uh, would you excuse us for... Now you can speak freely in front of Mr. Overby, Henry. <laughs> uh... Uh, well, okay. Uh, Mary Lou thinks that those noises are coming from a human being. Should we tell him, Mr. Overby? Yes, uh, sir, Mr. Jefferson. I think we should. Oh, tell me what? Henry, I'm afraid we have someone in our midst who is trying to scare everyone away from Lake Arthur and uh -huh. this island. Well, that's what we thought, too. Do you think it's Mr. Meany? Why would he want to scare us all away? Those are two questions that only time will answer, pal, and they will be answered. Shh, move slowly now, Stumpy, and cautiously. <laughs> Don't worry, young fella. Walking so near this water, I'm going to move mighty careful. Stumpy, you see anything up ahead? Nope, nothing at all, Bill. If there were any blacker out here, I wouldn't be able to see myself. Let's move ahead and see if we can find the person or thing that's been making those weird noises. <laughs> Why didn't we get some of the others to help us? I didn't want to panic them. This could be a false alarm, you know. The noises might have something to do with the geographical terrain of this lake. You really believe that, young feller? No. But until I get positive proof, what else can I do? Uh, what about Mary Lou and Henry? What if they wake up where we're gone? Mr. Overby is going to keep a close watch on them. I wish Mr. Overby would keep a close watch over me. And the sound of that there coyote we just heard. Oh, Stumpy, shame on you. Come on. Let's keep moving now. But be quiet about it. Yep. Come in, young fella. I brought your pills, as you asked, Mr. Overby. Uh, uh, thank you. How'd you do last night, Mr. Jefferson? You able to solve the mystery? No, I wasn't. Sure has me puzzled. Henry and Mary Lou tell me that they didn't hear the noises last night. Uh, maybe they've stopped. I wouldn't be too sure of that. But this I can tell you. While I was keeping an eye on Mary Lou and Henry, I did notice something strange. Something mighty strange. Hmm. Now you're beginning to sound like the rest of us, Mr. Overby. What was it you noticed? Mr. Meany. Hmm? Yes, sir. I noticed Mr. Meany walking with something under his arm. Really? Where was he headed? Well, he was going to the south side of camp while you and Stumpy were up on the north side. Uh-huh. You notice anything else? No. No, I didn't. Well, maybe the noises have come to an end. <laughs> Guess I'll go back to my tent and enjoy the rest of my vacation. Or rather, what there is left of it. Good day, Mr. Overby. Yeah, it's good of you to visit me, young fella. You guys can walk around a lot easier than an old boy like me. Thanks again for getting them special pills for me from the mainland. 
I completely forgot to bring him with me. <laughs> you're welcome, Mr. Overby. And you're not old. You're in the prime of life. Henry. Henry, did you hear that noise? Yes, Mary Lou, I heard it. And I don't like it. I'm going to get Bill up and... Henry. Henry, I'm scared. I know, I heard it. Bill! Bill, wake up! That noise is back! Hey, wake hmm? up! Uh, uh, oh, what's that you say, Henry? Strange noise. Mary Lou and I just heard it. Oh. Apparently, you're not as sound asleep as I am. Now, let's see what we can discover. Oh, Bill. Bill, I heard it again. I wish I was back in Naughty Pine. The two of you just stay put. I'll wake up Stumpy. He can stand guard with you. I'll go and see. No, no, this is one time Mary Lou and I are going with you, Bill. Right, Mary Lou? I'm with you, Henry, I guess. Right or wrong. <laughs> guess I can't be too critical this time. Okay, let's get stumpy and be off to see what we can find. <laughs> can hear owls and frogs. Reminds me of the times when all my relatives get together. Oh, stumpy. <laughs> uh, Mary Lou, you stay close behind me now. Move only when I do. Okay. Stumpy, you and Henry stay a few paces further back. Keep a sharp lookout now in case someone has something up his sleeve. Okay, Bill. I I'm with Stumpy. All right, everyone. Let's move ahead slowly. Remember... Keep a sharp eye open for anything that might move. Shh. Quiet. I think I see something up there in those trees just ahead. Bill, I'm scared. Mary Lou, you want to go back? No. No, I, I'm all right now. Sorry. Uh, Stumpy, Henry. Two of you still there? Yeah, we're here, Bill. You see something? Just a large knot on that tree. Well, let's get going. Careful now. Keep alert. Looking for someone? Well, as a matter of fact, we were, Mr. Meany. In the middle of the night? It is rather strange, isn't it? Go on back where you came from. I don't like snoopers. May I ask what that equipment is that you have in the tree? Yes, you may ask. But I don't feel obligated to answer you. And I don't like you asking so many questions. I'm sorry you feel that way about it, Mr. Meany. Of course, I'm not officially on duty here. But I feel it only fair to warn you that I intend on getting official permission to fully investigate your equipment and its usage. Go right ahead, Ranger. But if you know what's good for you, you'll forget about any investigations. Get it? <laughs> he gets it all right. Only thing is, he don't scare. It's easy. Right, old-timer. That's right. Bill's not scared of any threats from you or from anybody else. Just you remember that. Rather a sassy group you have there, Ranger. Better watch them. Or they'll get you into a lot of trouble. Let me worry about that, Meanie. I'd appreciate it if you'd cooperate by letting me take a look inside that equipment. Like I said, go back where you came from. I don't like snoopers. Very well. Have it your own way. But the law always wins. <laughs> think Meany is our man? I'm not sure, Stumpy. I have my own ideas about it. But right at the present, I'd rather not say one way or the other. The way we caught him by that tree last night sure throws a lot of suspicion on him. Yeah. Why, he was so mad because <laughs> we got the goods on him that I thought he was going to do something drastic. The least he could have done was to have cooperated. Surely if he was innocent, he would have done that. I'll admit that Mr. Meany does look like the guilty one. But, of course, a person is innocent until proven guilty, remember? Well, what's your next move, Bill? Uh, maybe that noise is really from some animal and not from a human being. Then what? No, Stumpy, this weird sound doesn't come from any animal. It has to be a human being. 
Someone trying, for one reason or another, to frighten people off this island. Our job is to find out why. Our friend, the owl. Uh, and the frogs. So far, we haven't heard any of those weird sounds. We will, if we're patient and wait. Whoever our friend may be, he's not going to give up that easily. <gasps> you were right, young fella. That gives me the creeps. I'm ready to give up and get off this island. Well, that's what they want us to do. When we're going to fool them, we're not going to be like some of the rest and leave. Sounds like our friend is really going to work tonight. Bill, look! Look there in the sky! Hey, oh. Crazy looking lights. Oh. They're, they're flashing through the sky. Oh, I'm scared, Bill. Let's get out of here. Keep calm, everyone. I think I just may have the solution to all of this. What, what are you up to, Bill? Whatever it is, I hope it don't take too long so we can get out of here. Oh, me too, Stumpy. Okay, here's my plan. Henry, you and Mary Lou stay... There are the golden lights flashing through the skies again. Oh, I sure hope Bill isn't gone for long. Well, he won't be. He said to wait here until we hear him holler for us. <laughs> Don't worry about me moving for anything. You're quiet. I thought I saw something moving over there. <gasps> Bill, hurry back. Try not to be frightened, Mary Lou. I'm trying, Henry. Bill should be about there by now. Hello, Mr. Overby. Hey, rings your bell. What are you doing here? Surprised, Mr. Overby? Well, uh, yes, I am. I am. Uh, Mary Lou, Henry, Stumpy, come on <laughs> over here now. Well, what are you calling them for, Mr. Jefferson? I, I don't quite understand your actions. I think you will, Mr. Overby. Here we are, Bill. Mr. Overby, what are you doing here? <laughs> I think I'm beginning to understand all about the lights and the sounds. Well, what's this colored cellophane doing here? And this big lantern? And these long, thin wires tied to the trees? I believe that Mr. Overby can best answer your questions for each of you, right, Overby? Yeah, I tried. I tried. What does he mean, Bill? Mr. Overby means that he tried to scare all the vacationers off this island. I don't really know why, but I'm hoping that he'll tell us. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you. I realize that I'm just a tired, old, foolish man. But now, all of a sudden, I know better. I should have known it wouldn't work. What was your reason for doing these things, Mr. Overby? Well, at one time, this island, this very island, belonged to me. All of it belonged to me. But I lost it. Uh-huh. Go ahead. How did you lose your property? Uh, there's a taxes and a depression. Lost the whole thing. Never have been happy since. Seemed like nothing's gone right since that time. Lost my wife, my child. Like I said, I'm just a tired old man. You can turn me over to the police now, Mr. Jefferson. I deserve it. I'm not about to do anything like that, Mr. Overby. You haven't really done anything that's broken the law. You more or less just frightened people. Which included me. And me, too. <laughs> yes, I was about the only one that was able to get a good night's sleep, eh, young feller? <laughs> I guess so, Stumpy. 
Say, Mary Lou, do you suppose that tomorrow morning we could fry up some of those fresh fish we have back at camp? Of course, Mr. Overby will be there to help us eat them. If he can stand my cooking, Bill. Yeah, now, aren't you being a little too kind to a man that's just tried to ruin your vacation for you? We're trying to be kind, Mr. Overby. But so far as the vacation is concerned, <laughs> we still have two more days of it. <laughs> well, well, seriously, Mr. Jefferson, how can the four of you be so kind and thoughtful to me after... After I've done so much wrong to you. Well, it's just putting into practice a few of Christ's teachings. And one way to accomplish what it is to do unto others is you would want them to do unto you. That's right, Henry. So you see, Mr. Overby, you must come over and join us in our fish fry tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm very grateful to all of you for showing me a better way to live. Thank you. And I will join you for the fish fry. There, everything's packed And here we come, naughty pie yeah. <laughs> It was sure an exciting vacation What with all those mysterious sounds and mystic lights flashing through the skies Everyone set? How about you, Mr. Overby? Got your gear packed? Yes, sir, Bill and I certainly appreciate your invitation to visit you at the ranger station. I oh, we're glad to have you. Besides, Stumpy hasn't been doing such a good job with the gardening of late, eh, Stumpy? Now, oh, look at here, young feller. <laughs> Never mind him, Mr. Overby. He's only teasing. Bill, aren't you going to show Mr. Overby the real surprise? Eh, another surprise? Well, what can it be? Eh, what's that? A telegram? That's right, a telegram. I got it on the mainland this morning. Want me to read it? Well, yes, I want you to read it. Go ahead. From Regional Tax Office, Bill Jefferson, Naughty Pine Ranger Station. To comply with new tax ruling, Lake Arthur Island will be deeded back to Mr. John J. Overby upon receipt of payments from his employment with Ranger Station. My own island. My very own island. All mine once again. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for everything. How did Mr. Overby create the weird sounds and the peculiar lights? Well, he used a whirling cellophane wheel that was able to throw different colored lights up into the skies. As for the sounds... Those came from tight wires stretched from tree branches. They were used to make sounds much like all musical strings. As for Mr. Meany, well, he was only trying to get some recordings of various animal sounds. It was a hobby of his. And so ends our story, Mystery Island. Hope you liked it. Well, see you again soon with another story from... <laughs> 